Hey everybody, it's Karen Brown coming to you with this midweek devotional, thinking about the sermon from Sunday morning, Galatians 4 verses 1 through 7, and how um, Mike really talked to us a lot about how we're no longer slaves um, to the law or strangers to God. We are beloved daughters and sons, heirs in Christ. And um, I just really appreciated that reminder and that message. And one thing that Mike mentioned in his sermon is that with our new status and freedom, we're called to experience life in a whole new way. We have abundant life with God in communion with him. And all that is in Christ is ours. Well, this understanding um, doesn't come naturally to to me to remember those things or trust God in that truth. And I'm guessing it doesn't come naturally to you either. Um, one illustration I was thinking about this week is that rec recently I went on the women's retreat, um, which was such a blessing. And I was driving there, um, actually I was riding in a car in a van with some friends. One of my friends was driving. We had uh, a van full and it was Friday afternoon and we had just pulled out for the retreat, getting on the highway. And as we're driving down the highway, I could still feel the stress of life with me. I was barely chiming into the conversation, but I was really focusing on some work emails. I had, I was, had my phone with me. I was scrolling um, through a to-do list that I had on there. I was uh, making notes about some home responsibilities and I was um, really caught up in and turned inward. And, but after some time, one of my friends in the car started spotting and pointing out eagles that were in the treetops and the telephone poles. And with a little effort, I started seeing them too. And after some miles, I had put my phone down and my chin was lifted and I was out of my own head and enjoying the ride and the view and my friends a lot more. And when I turned outward, I changed and my experience of the ride changed. Well, it's a small illustration of how we can all be on the same ride, but miss the life around us. Well, as a mom in family ministries, I have the blessing of being around kids a lot. And in children's ministries, we talk about how living as God's child is kind of like relearning to write, but with your opposite hand. So we, we actually um, spend some time writing with our weak hands um, as we talk about this to drive the point home. And I'll never forget one time, one kid was really, Ill, really into the illustration and just that the illustration really um, rang true to him. And he was writing with his opposite hand and he said, yeah, this makes so much sense. Trusting God's way is going to feel strange and hard at first. It might even feel wrong, but we'll get used to it and it'll get better. Kids are the best, but he's right. When we stop using our strong hand. And we're willing to um, be weak and maybe even a little messy like a child. That's where transformation happens, like in the car on the way with my friends. When I was willing to rest and be present with the group, that's when the retreat began. Well, my loving father knows me well, and he knows you too. And he gives us what we need for transformation, to experience change and experience life as his child, fully trusting him and resting in him. Well, like that car ride, he gives us friends. He gives us community. He gives us the body of Christ to show us where to look, sometimes literally, and also to let us know when we are using our strong hand and pride. I really need my friends and my community to point this out for me. But God also gives us his word. Like the many reminders from Galatians that we've been reading on Sunday, he knows that we need to hear often about our new status and our new freedom and our new calling into abundant life. Um, he reminds us often because we forget often. But I really love um, in the verse, this verse in Galatians 4, that Mike read on Sunday. I really love this verse 
and the reminder um, that it tells me that because you are sons, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. I'm going to read that part again. God sent the spirit, crying, Abba, Father. So that's so comforting to me because God knows that I often um, am too proud or too distracted to even cry out to him for help, to come to him as his child freely with my new, trusting in my new status, wanting um, to experience life. He knows that I can't even bring myself to say the right words, but this verse says the spirit will go before me saying the words, um, Abba Father, trusting in God for help. He gives us his spirit. He doesn't leave us alone, along with his word and our friends community to um, call us into abundant life, uh, to call us out from under the stairs, like Mike mentioned with the Harry Potter analogy. And I pray that you'll have the vision to see God's people, to um, understand God's word, and to see God's work through his spirit this week. And I pray that they call you to lift your eyes and remember and rest. And in closing, I'd like to read to you just a few lyrics from an Andrew Peterson song called Rest Easy that I've been listening to, listening to this week as it really goes along with Galatians 4 and some of the reminders that I need to hear as his um, beloved daughter. And so the, the lyrics that I want to read to you are these. You don't have to work so hard. You can rest easy. You don't have to prove yourself. You're already mine. You don't have to hide your heart. I already love you. I hold it in mine. So you can rest easy. Do not be afraid. Nothing, nothing in the world can come between us now. I pray that these words and God's word in Galatians 4 encourages you this week. And I look forward to seeing you on Sunday and much love to you all. Have a good rest of your week. Bye-bye.